Well, time for more business news now. Stephen Carl joins us in studio. We're going to start with the economic recovery plans presented jointly by French and German finance ministers. That's right. Francis Bruno Le Maire calling on the European Union to approve more quickly payments from its 750 billion euro recovery plan. Paris and Berlin jointly submitted their plans to Brussels as part of that process to get money out of that special pandemic fund. France is looking for 40 billion euros of EU money, while Germany is seeking 26 billion. Both plans, first announced last year, include major investments in climate protection and digitalisation. The French finance minister says that as other parts of the world are bouncing back from the pandemic, the EU must remain in the race. The political responsibility of the member states and the Commission is now to make the European recovery plan a concrete reality for our citizens as soon as possible. The Commission should analyse national recovery and resilience plans as soon as possible so that they can be approved by the Council in July at the latest. Well, meanwhile, the pandemic has meant a boom in business for technology giants, a new record of profits at the owner of Google. A search giant's parent company Alphabet saw net profits in the first three months of this year rise by 162% to almost $18 billion. The pandemic kept people at home watching YouTube videos and clicking on internet ads provided by Google. Revenues from the search engine rose by 30%, while income from YouTube was up by almost 50%. Alphabet's CEO Sundar Pichai saying the company would expand further this year, creating at least 10,000 new jobs. Staying with big tech firms, Microsoft also announcing another bumper set of results. Its sales up by around a fifth between January and March with profits of over $15 billion. Microsoft has seen major increases in demand for its Xbox game console, cloud computing services and its video calling software Teams. Technology then continuing to boom, Stephen. But the coffee industry apparently had taken a dip, but it's bounced back. That's right. Starbucks says that its sales in the United States have made a full recovery in the first three months of this year from the slump of the past 12 months. Globally, the company saw a return to growth in revenues with same-store sales up by 15%. The coffee chain is now expecting profits to increase this year as it shifts its business more towards takeaway outlets. Well, to Chile next and a controversial move on pensions. The government has lost a court challenge to a law which will allow people to withdraw money from their pension funds. President Sebastian Piñera had tried to stop the move, which was passed by opposition lawmakers. Debate over Chile's pension system has raged for years, but the pandemic has brought it to a head, as Yukaroya now reports. Announcing a third raid on pension funds in less than a year, Chile's president did not hide his disappointment. Como gobierno, respetamos y aceptamos la decisión del Tribunal Constitucional, sin perjuicio de no compartirla. Y haremos todos nuestros esfuerzos para que estos recursos lleguen a las personas y a las familias chilenas a partir de la próxima semana. The new law allows individuals to withdraw for a third time up to 10% of their private pension savings to cope with the ongoing health crisis. The two previous measures saw the equivalent of 34 billion US dollars, or 17 per cent of the pension funds, pulled out. After Parliament overwhelmingly passed the bill last week, the government tried to block it, but Chile's constitutional court rejected their challenge. The government has long opposed raids on the pensions. They argued that citizens should rely on state aid instead, saying they have reserved nearly 10 per cent of GDP for pandemic assistance. Chile changed its pension system in 1981, replacing a government-run scheme with a privately managed system based on individual retirement accounts. While it drove private investment, the new scheme has long been the subject of debate, with workers complaining it's been paying out too little to meet their needs and adding to social injustice. It was one of the triggers of mass protests which rocked the country in 2019. The coronavirus pandemic has exacerbated people's frustration. Lots more company results the stock markets are digesting today. Shares in Deutsche Bank started the day up 4.5% after it reported its biggest quarterly profit in seven years. Shares in the French drugs company Sanofi also up at the open after their results. More generally, this is the picture on the European markets as they opened. London, Paris and Frankfurt all trading up. 
And finally, Stephen, Australia could be set for another clash with tech giants. This after the Facebook controversy of recent months. The country's competition regulator says Apple and Google need to change the way their app downloads download stores work to ensure they're not abusing their dominance in the sector. Many app developers have complained about the uh, way that the commission that they have to pay uh, the tech giants for hosting their apps. The regulator says developers should be able to give customers, for example, alternative payment options. The ACC warning that regulation may be required if Apple and Google don't act on their recommendations. Interesting. Stephen Carl with our business update. Thanks a lot for that.